Hey, hey, everybody, I'm Z Garcia, and today I'm going to be unboxing The Quick and the Undead right here from Inside Up Games. Uh, it's got a cool vibe of zombies meets western. I like this cover with the two gun sort of first person perspective uh, shooting that zombie there. And then on the back, we've got, as you can see, a central board with some characters, some locations it looks like we can visit. And then the players uh, having these. Uh, zombie layouts that I guess we're lighting up. So let's go ahead and get into it. Check out what comes in here. It says one to six players, 30 to 60 minutes, ages eight and up. All right, let's take a look. Open this up. Get rid of this shrink. This is a fairly thin box. Square is about the standard squared size uh, game box, but it is a little bit shallower. It's a little bit thinner. All right, there we go. We've got ourselves a rule book in several languages. Let's see, we've got that one and we've got that one. We knew this would be in here because it says so on the front cover. So that's the first thing we'll check out. So we've got our rule book here. We're just gonna leaf through that. It shows you the contents, breakdown of setup there, nice big illustration in the center with the setup steps around that. Good, good. All right, we've got an overview of the day, duels, turn overview, the abilities, shootouts, the graveyard or the boot hill, buildings, okay, cool. Uh, end of round and then end of game Some more explanations here of uh, these characters scout Or I guess these are abilities maybe hijack scout loot and Then the solo variant gets its own Spread here in the back of the rule book and then buildings explain on the very back of the book I like that always utilize this space folks Put something useful right there. Player aid, something. There we go. That looks good so far. All right, and here we've got some tokens. These are pretty thin. They are, they have kind of a papery finish. So, not great. These are kind of by the numbers tokens. Nothing to write home about there. I'm, I'm assuming this is some sort of start player token, maybe. I don't know. But again, it's not... It's not bad. It's not thin. I'm not going to be able to, you know, by mistake, bend it or anything. It's just a little papery and um, not particularly robust cardboard. All right, so we've got that one and we've got one more here. And you can kind of see the bend on that if I just give it a very, very gentle bend one way or the other. So we've got these bullets, coins. Uh, I don't know what these are. The skull tokens. We've got a board below that. It looks like it just folds once. Single-sided board. Looks like that. I like the artwork on it. It's very good. Very evocative. There we go. And then below that, we've got these per player. These are pretty thin. These are quite flimsy. And I, I, I assume they're going to start warping a little bit if the humidity snacks on these then we've got a few dice eight-sided dice which is always nice to see they don't eight-sided dice are not used enough in games so I like that eight-sided dice a handful of them we've got some tokens here wooden wooden bits with little I guess they're meant to look like uh, little outlaws or cowboys we've got player colors one two three four five six yep yeah. All right, let's take a look at some. Grab these uh, red ones. All right, they are nice. They seem to be a custom shape, which is lovely. It's a little guy there, a profile of a little guy holding a gun, as you can see. They do feel, I mean, the, the little gun part and the brim of the hat 
do seem like they would very, very easily snap off. And to be honest, I would be surprised if at least one of these in one of the boxes isn't already broken off. It just happens. It's that kind of wood you can tell that feels very light. And those, you can see the lines of the grain in it. And I don't know how they, what kind of wood this is, but it seems to become to be becoming more and more prevalent in board games. And it is just not as sturdy as sort of old school wooden meeples that used to come in, you know, Carcassonne ages ago. It's a different, I don't know what it is. It's a different product. It's a different type of material. So there we go. I do like the custom shape, though. I think that's nice. Anytime they can do that, it adds a little bit of flavor to the entire package. Lastly, we've got here a deck of cards. And I have to say, unless there's something down here, which there is not, I was expecting more cards in this. This is a small deck of cards. That's it. So, okay, let's see what's in here. Let's open this up and take a look. I like the artwork from what I'm seeing here on the front card. All right, these are okay. They are, they don't have a particularly good finish on them, but they're not flimsy. They don't seem to just want to give up. And we've got some buildings. They show us that back. So, all right, we've got some buildings there. I like the artwork on the buildings quite a bit. I like the look. The style of the game, I think, is going to go a long way to, you know, making a big part of the package, which is good. I like the style. All right, so these are all buildings, like I said. And then over here, we've got zombies. we got zombies there. More of them. There we go. This is uh, still a zombie? Yeah, okay. Very cool artwork, and that is it. So, buildings and zombies. That's all there is to it. This seems like a smaller game than I thought it might be, but, again, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It does say 30 to 60 minutes, so there is that. But, I think that's as far as I'm going to be able to get right now without really digging into those rules and giving this bad boy a go. So, that is the quick... And the undead. There's certainly undead in there, and it looks like it's going to be quick. So, truth in advertising. Thanks for checking this out with me, everybody. Stay tuned for more on this game and many others. My name is Z Garcia. I'm going to see you on the next one.